So Adrian's going to Aston Martin. Well, it very much looks like it. What about Max? Is Max going to stay with Red Bull? Well, indulge me if you will. What about this for a wacky idea? Maybe he actually takes the plunge and spends next year with Mercedes. And then in 2026, moves on to Aston Martin. Because the Red Bull's not looking great right now. Adrian's gone. Are they really going to get any better next year? Especially when Aston Martin are buying all the staff. But Mercedes is still doing pretty well. The regulations don't change next year. So Mercedes might be able to put up a fight. And maybe that would work out fine for Mercedes because they get Max for a year. He has a shot in a good car and maybe takes the championship for them and for himself. And then he moves on to Aston Martin and young Kimi Antonelli jumps into his seat because this is only Kimi's first season in Formula 2. And yeah, he's done some good stuff, but he's also been, you know, nowhere in some of the races. And remember, when someone just jumps into a Formula 1 car at a really young age, you tend to write them off quite a lot. Felipe Massa? George Russell? Yeah, yeah, there's quite a stack of them. There's quite a stack of them that used to crash cars quite regularly when they were younger. You remember Jensen Button when he rammed up the arse of someone <laughs> during the safety car? Yeah, so... I wouldn't rush to put Antonelli into an F1 car at 17. So maybe um, maybe another year in Formula 2 for him, which then leaves that seat free in, in uh, Mercedes. And George wouldn't probably be too upset because he's then got the opportunity of still being the number one once Max moves on. And if he's smart, which I'm not convinced he is... <laughs> But if he's smart, he would try and pick up as much as he could from from, from young Max Verstappen. It would be nice, wouldn't it? And it maybe sounds a bit off the wall, but why not? Because it gets Max away from Red Bull, which, I hate to say it, Christian, you've made it a toxic environment for everybody, and that's why all these guys are leaving. Because if it was a nice, happy place, they wouldn't need to jump ship. You know, if you're a few bob more, I mean, the money's the money's not going to be consequential at that level. It's all about working environment, people you can trust, people that you respect, people you can have a good time with. And I don't think anybody's having a great time at Red Bull just now, especially with this kind of Jos Verstappen, Christian Horner type, and in animosity between each other. You know, you can see it. It's like two. Two dogs in the ring, you know, they're circling each other all the time. So yeah, maybe that might happen. Hey, I can only be wrong, but I was right the last time.